Ukrainian forces have been making advances, not just in the south, but outside of Bakhmut. But what exactly is the state of Russian forces? Well, we have released GoPro footage of Ukrainian engineers entering a Russian trench line that's recently abandoned. So we're going to take a look at this combat footage and we are going to try to see what we can learn about the state of Russian forces. Let's get into it. Okay, this comes to us from the Ukrainian uh, Reconnaissance Brigade. Uh, of course, vis-a-vis -vis the sun. Um, so it's generally, these guys have become better and better Ukrainians at releasing combat footage. So you can see this looks like an early morning operation. It looks like this is pre-dawn. Uh, what in the military we sometimes call... Um, BMNT, before morning nautical twilight. And the reason that there's an emphasis on this time is you can see that while um, the visibility is not great, um, you're visible enough that you can do things like get your gear on, um, maneuver through an area. And so before the advent of night vision, or in this case, for units that don't operate with night vision, this is the first time you can start operations. And it's very common for units on offense to sort of get into position and await um, the dawn when there's enough light to actually engage in combat at a distance. Actually, I should put my headphones on for this, huh? Good morning. 4.30, guys. Okay, so you can see, right, they're in position, uh, they're in this forested area, and, and one of the things we've talked about, and I'll pull up the maps here if I, if, uh, I can for a sec, is that I imagine generally Ukrainians seem to release uh, combat footage within about 24, usually about 48 hours is how long they try to delay it. So there's two areas uh, of significant, like, forests that i think they may have cleared right here's the 18th and this may be from these four you could see over the course of the 18th um there's been a couple of advances especially outside of klachivka and andrivka um i i think you're probably seeing uh something maybe clearing one of these wind breaks or possibly some of these areas here um again these forested areas right e e Anyway, that, that's my thesis as to what we're looking at. Um, it's also possible, though, though I think somewhat less likely that this is part of the advances, probably not in Stadelmajorsk or Orozane, because you can see there's very few uh, forested areas here. There's there's um, this forest here outside of Stadelmajorsk, so this footage could have been shot in the 11th in this area. Um, but... Or it's also possible that it was recorded outside of Robotina. You could see there's a few wooded areas where Ukrainian forces have advanced. So it could be around here um, in the northwest portion of the city. <coughs> that seems probably pretty likely, given that we've seen this incremental Ukrainian advance through this uh, wood line over the last maybe uh, week or so. So those are kind of the leading candidates for where this has taken place. But you can see this is a small wood line, right? Like you're not seeing an, a, a dense, infinite amount of trees, right? It's a it's a fixed area. Okay. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. This is this is in the south. So, yeah, I think this is probably uh, a wood line outside Stadelmajorsk. So. Take a look at what we have here. You have all of these old Soviet-style ammo boxes, and they're probably filled with dirt, and they are forming a roof. And you, this is conferring for these Russian troops a level of protection against uh, drone attacks, right? Um, and and artillery fire. Uh, and you can see that this provides again some overhead cover. They've got this again filled probably with rocks and dirt on the back end, and it forms a sort of strong point um, to provide overwatch probably on this large open area here. Um, so you can imagine if you're Ukrainian forces, right, and you need to advance across this open field, um, this is basically a machine, this is not basically a machine gun nest. It is a machine gun nest. You can literally see where the Russians have left um, belts of uh, machine gun rounds. So this is 
probably what this is and this trench line connects it and there's probably another machine gun nest far down to the other end of the trench line you can see here it looks like russian forces have left um what looks like a small cooking area um but uh, that's it. They've got left some magazines here. So there's some gear that's been abandoned. This is actually a lot more organized than many, many other Russian uh, positions that we've seen. Yeah. Uh, So do we have this? Yeah, this is on the, this is on 270p. So this is probably as good as the setting gets. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Here's here's more of what we've typically seen. Uh, I've often seen a lot of trash. Um, a lot of times it seems like Russian soldiers will be in the trenches and then they'll drink a plastic water bottle or eat an MRE and then they'll throw the trash. They'll literally just toss it outside of the trench line. And this um is a problem for a couple of reasons first off it's still unhygienic to have food that close to areas where you're going to bathe and shower um, it can draw animals it can create an environment rife for bacteria um flies and other uh vectors for disease um it can also give the enemy intelligence again if you see a large pile of let's say white wrappers um if you're a drone operator you're gonna say oh that's where there's there's Russian activity, um, even if you have a relatively well concealed position. Otherwise, um, you can also allow again drone reconnaissance or even situations like this. Um, you can tease out how many soldiers are there, how well fed they are. Um, uh, you can learn a lot about an area by just observing the way that trash is generated and how much is generated. So you may be like, why aren't these guys drop jumping right in? Well, the answer is because Russian forces may have booby trapped a lot of this area, especially if they withdrew in good order, right? One of the things we've heard, if this is outside Robotine, is that uh, there's some reports that Russian forces have actually just decided uh, to withdraw, to no longer defend that town, and that Ukrainian forces haven't liberated it yet, but that Russian activity there is pretty minimal. So if that's the case, then these Ukrainian forces can be almost certain that there are lots of booby traps that have been left in these trench lines and fortified positions. Lose, lose. <laughs> All right, so it looks like they are inside the trenches and some covered areas. Looks like they're using a flashlight to try to see. Let's let's see if we can get a better view here. Okay, so it looks like a lot of trash. We've got ammunition. We have some weapons. They're going through cards. Okay, so that's a patch. Looks like a looks like a war trophy. It looks like a Ukrainian flag patch that someone pocketed okay okay let's see if we can tease out what else we have going on here one you could see russian forces um saving a pair of boots uh looks like there's a lot of kind of uh, so it looks like there's some waterproofing looks like they had waterproof tarp um over top of the probably ammo crates with the dirt in them to form a, a barrier that'll resist shrapnel um, and then they covered it in turn with leaves. So this is actually a pretty good level of discipline. They've really, the Russian troops look like they've really tried to conceal this place well. I wonder if they actually took off their boots because this is meant to be like a medic tent and that a level of um, hygiene is really important. <laughs> Yep, so what it, that looks like it was, it looks like some sort of clearing operation. It looks like Russian forces withdrew or were forced out. And that these troops are responsible to go in, assess, and answer questions like, is this trench clear? Um, has it been booby-trapped? Are there other uh, risks here? Have Russian forces really withdrawn 
as the drones indicated. Um, and it looks like these guys went out there, swept the area, confirmed it, got whatever intelligence they could get from these for, uh, entrenched fortifications. And now they're going back to their uh, lines to report yeah these trenches look clear hey we didn't observe any mines hey here's some of the documents that we found that might be useful um so having done all that right it, uh, probably what happened next is ukrainians forces their main body probably moved up and said okay the reconnaissance guys have said this is okay let's move up the main body of forces and we're going to occupy these russian positions so that's what i think we just saw there um anyway guys thank you as always for joining me um Big thanks to the members of CombatVetNews.com, all you guys. Uh, you should check it out if you're interested. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.